Hi, uh, my name is Rajasekhar. Uh, currently, I'm 53 years old. I used to work in US uh, as a registered pharmacist, uh, where I had a angina one day and uh, went to the doctor and had been to a cath lab next week and uh, where they have found a multivessel disease uh, in the left arteries, uh, LAD. And uh, at that time they told the right coronary artery, RCA, has been completely blocked. And they also mentioned that uh, the collaterals have been formed in the left artery, which is compensating the totally occluded right artery. Uh, the multi-vessel disease uh, with the circumflex, I think they have stented and also two stents in the left descending artery. And after that, they tried to open the right one, and uh, but they were not successful at that time. So, CTO is chronic total occlusion of uh, hard blood vessel. As the occlusion crossed more than three months, it becomes, you know, harder and harder. Uh, making it very difficult for a operator to open it. To be successful in opening such arteries, the operator should be an expert operator, supported by a team of uh, nursing assistant and cath lab technician and assistant cardiologist, along with required CTO hardware availability in cath lab. So these three are the key to bring success in such interventions. And my team has a success rate of 96% in last two years data, which is equivalent to any best of the best centers in the world. Along with success rate, the team should perform minimum number of surgeries per year. So at least 30 surgeries per year should be performed by an operator and team to keep the expertise uh, growing better and better as well as to increase the success rate. It's like an international cricketer plays cricket only on the day of match the chances of he losing match will be very high. But if he practices with a couple of matches every month, so they can win the match, probability of winning match will be on higher side. So it is same for a complex uh, uh, PCI operator also. So they need a regular uh, interventions uh, to keep their you know, expertise growing. Anyhow, I moved back to India afterwards. Uh, when I had the angina a few months back, uh, lucky for me, I think uh, my neighbor, Dr. KP, Krishna Prasad, uh, he lives in our community. And uh, he right away said to come over uh, because I called him over the phone and he said, uh, come over to the Medicover hospital. And that's how I kind of uh, associated or uh, introduced into this Medicover and uh, they found out uh, some instant re-stenosis of the one on one of in one of the stent that was placed in 2006 and also there's some atherosclerosis so they have to place another stent for that. So actually he came with um, severe chest pain and breathing difficulty uh, with the low blood pressure to our emergency room and immediately we identified he had an acute heart stroke and we shifted him to cath lab and did an angiogram. Then we understood uh, that two stents which were placed before had a occlusion. So we opened two blood vessels and stented and he got stabilized. So this is the exact problem which happens with the chronic total occlusion. See, as his third vessel was open, he wouldn't have admitted with such a severe degree of stroke with, you know, low blood pressure. As the third vessel is already occluded, 
So instant occlusion of these two vessels means it's almost like occlusion of all three vessels to the heart because these two vessels are giving collaterals to the third vessel. So that says, you know, it's always better to open these long-standing total occlusions if it is possible uh, for the operator and in that particular center. At that time, uh, I was told that I can go or undergo the procedure for the CTO, PCI, to open the RCA, which was accrued in, in 2006. Uh, in fact, uh, because the collaterals have been formed in the left artery, even at that time, I assume it could have been blocked uh, even earlier than 2006. So, after COVID, I mean, because of the COVID, it has been delayed, this procedure. And finally, they gave me an appointment in December. And uh, Dr. Sharath Reddy was the one, is the one who did this procedure. And it has been successful. I'm really happy it happened. Uh, it's been a, there's been a ray of hope in my mind from 2006. Uh, for, uh, I mean, hoping for advancement in technolo technology and also increase in skill for the doctors. Uh, this uh, procedure uh, includes retrograde access. Uh, in fact, uh, this pro the whole procedure took about uh, around six hours. They tried almost like one and a half hour to two hours uh, to open the RCA. Uh, through the anti-grade, uh, but it was not successful uh, because it has long been occluded. So they tried the uh, retrograde uh, that also took about four hours. I think they have used all the whatever the guided catheters they had. I think uh, finally they are able to be they are able to be successful. So as his blood vessel is occluded for more than uh, fifteen years. So, we anticipated uh, most complex uh, uh, intervention in him. So, we went through all his coronary angiograms, previous angiograms and we chalked out entire anatomy and various routes through which I can enter his blood vessel and open it. Uh, to my uh, surprise, uh, the score, the complexity score uh, came around almost four. So that means it is the most complex uh, uh, total occlusion to open by any operator. So uh, we laid out a plan of surgery uh, based on his anatomy with a plan A, plan B and plan C. And always plan A is uh, we try anti -grate. So we tried from main root, from right coronary artery, but we failed and we switched to plan B, that is a retrograde route. Through the collaterals, we entered his uh, right coronary artery. But unfortunately, we failed there also to cross the uh, total occlusion. And then I switched to my plan C, that is uh, doing a retrograde dissection and re-entry. So this is how we have plans, you know, and a backup plan and another backup plan, you know, to make cave successful. Um, yeah, finally after RDR, you know, we could cross and we could complete the uh, procedure. So in these cases, uh, operator planning the case with all pre-op angiographic assessment and having backup plans, uh, you know, during procedure. So this is the key to, uh, you know, bring out success in such procedures. And after this procedure, uh, I have stayed about two days. Uh, that too, I think as a precautionary uh, measure, I think they have let me stay for two days. And uh, without any, I mean, I would say there were no complications after, the, after that. And I went home within two days. But uh, I'm happy I came out, I mean, it came out, the surgery came out successful. 
and also to tell about Dr. Sharath Reddy, he has a uh, good track record, I think about 95% uh, if I'm not mistaken, he had a 95% successful rate. And Dr. Sharath Reddy and also the staff, they have been uh, uh, kind of informative, I mean uh, kind of uh, patient oriented, uh, I would say. Uh, and uh, the bottom line, I'm happy, I mean, to be associated with Medicover and especially with Dr. Sharath Reddy.